Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video and as a part of the series of creating an automated CRM, we're going to learn how to create and send contracts automatically with Google Docs. For this, we're going to be using Airtable for the forms, Google Docs for the template, and Make to connect everything together. And this system, as the one that I uploaded last week about Zoom, is going to save you some bucks in monthly subscription in services like DocuSign or PandaDoc. So remember to hit that subscribe button to not miss any chapter of this series, and at the end of it, you will have a fully automated CRM, just like the one that we use at our agency. And now, let's go into the video. First of all, I'm going to do a quick overview because we're going to be putting some elements together. In first place, we have the meetings table. Then we also have the projects table. And then to connect all of them together, we have the Airtable forms. What is going to happen is that when the customer fills the Airtable form, we're going to trigger a webhook, and that webhook is going to trigger a make scenario. In that make scenario, we're going to use the Google Docs template and we're going to send it to the customer. And obviously in the projects table and in the meetings table, there is two fields that have to be mapped together. And in this case, the field that we're going to use to map them together is the field project code. And what we are going to do is to send a form with the project code pre-filled. So whenever the person fills the form in the project table, it is going to be pre-filled with information from the meetings table. That way we can map them together and we can trigger the scenario with all the information that we need. Now we're in the meetings table and as I said to you, we're going to have different fields that we're going to need. First of all, we have project code, then we have proposal code, and then we have the contract form. And the contract form is super important and I'm going to show you what is the exact form that we actually need here. Because we're going to concatenate the Airtable form from this table with the project code here. So then we can actually map it from here and then we can bring the information to the meetings so the budget is automatically filled as well. So the formula is the following. We're going to concatenate the Airtable form and the Airtable form is this one that we have created here. I'm going to go into detail later on. If we want the URL, we just have to copy the link here and we are going to concatenate this form with the project code. This way, I'm going to open it so just for you to see it. This way, when the customer actually fills the form, the project code is going to be already there and then we're going to be able to map the information in the meetings table with the project table. So then in the project table, what we're going to do is basically to create a link with the meetings table. And why are we doing this? Because basically with an Airtable automation that I'm going to show you how exactly is right now, we're going to bring the email of the meeting and then we're going to see the budget. So whenever we actually bring a new email here, you're going to see that this is empty. But for example, if we use this email, we're going to have this project quote or this budget. And now I'm going to show you how the automation actually works and how you have to set it up. So when the customer fills the form, then we're going to bring all the information together to the the project table. So this is the Airtable automation and basically it works when a form is submitted that the form is contract details form, we're going to find a record that is project code equals to project code. The project code in the project table equals to the project codes in the meeting table. And then we're going to update the Airtable record ID that is the one from this step when a form is submitted with the email from this step. So basically we're going to create this connection and the budget is going to be automatically brought to the project table. Here in the contract details form we're going to have different information and as you can see here the project is now empty because I I'm basically in the original source. There is no prefills. Here we're going to have first name, last name, email, company name, live one address, and basically all the information that we're going to need to make a contract and an invoice. Now that we have seen how to bring the information from the meetings table to the project table, we're going to learn how to send the information from the project table to make. And for this, basically, we're going to add another step that is going to be a run script step. In this case, I'm going to leave this code in the description, but here basically you just have to substitute it by your webhook URL, okay? And if you didn't create a webhook it's very easy because you just have to go to make.com and then go to custom webhook and click here and then you just have to create one okay so in this case i have many of them already but i'm going to create this one for example and i just have to copy the address to a clipboard and then substitute it here so i'm going to delete this one because actually i don't need it and i'm going to use the other one that is basically this one and i'm going to paste it here so now that it's pasted there everything is ready to go and basically when these conditions are match it means that when a contract detail form is sent we find the record we update the record and then we send the script then we're going to trigger this make scenario that i'm going to explain right now why are we doing this and how are we doing that okay so basically here we're going to receive the record id and with the record id we're going to use a get record module from Airtable. and with the get record module what we actually want is to retrieve all the information from that record it means the and all the information from that record means all the invoicing details from the customer plus the project quote now once we have all the information we're going to create this module that is basically a google docs module with create a document from a template okay and what we need to do here okay so basically we're going to map it by drop down and then we're going to choose the location of our file so here we have our document id and if you actually want to know that your document id you just have to go to your google docs template and then just basically select this value from here okay so you're going to select that value from here and then you just have to paste it here it's super simple and you're going to see that there is some values here 
Um, where are these values coming from? This is very straightforward. All the values that we have here between currently braces, like a today date, company name, client address, client name, client country, all that information is basically the information that we capture in the Airtable form and that now we're going to map here. And then here, we just need to fill all the different values and fields with information that we have captured in the get record step, okay? So in this case, today date is going to be this one, a variable that is now, then client name is going to be first name, company name is going to be company name client country is going to be country client address is going to be line one address plus line two address plus fit code and then basically we're going to bring all the information that we capture in the previous step in the get record module from Airtable into the google docs template so here i'm going to include the budget and that is this one okay so this would be ready to go then we're going to use a google docs download a document module and we're going to transform the document into a pdf because in the next step we're going to send it by email and as you can see here this is super Super simple email and actually this is a test but we just wrote find out as the contract a find out as the contract again then the email address and then the file and here this update and record air table module is basically a step where we basically change the status from whatever it is to contract sent okay i'm just going to leave it like that and now i'm going to run a test from the beginning to the end and i'm going to show you the results i've just run the test as you can see here and basically all the steps work and then at the end we basically send the email a find out as the contract then subject find out as the contract and then basically the attachment that as you can see here is contract underscore borja underscore payasa dot pdf now we're actually going to see the contract just for you to see that it actually works and as you can see here this is the information that i feel from the form like example one two three example one two three four five and then basically all the different fields so for example here is borja and the company's optimal path and then here in Airtable we actually have that data so here we have example one two three example one two three four five and basically we have all the info and guys, this is a super underrated way of creating contracts automatically and then send them to the customers. And basically it's going to save you some bugs in softwares like Pandadoc or DocuSign. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can buy this exact template, including the Airtable form, the Mech scenario, and the Airtable database, so you can easily install it into your company from today. So guys, as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.